What is going on guys Noah Brewer here back again with another video and damn it has been a minute It's probably been two three months since I put up a video But you know me I've just been growing just been working uh, Haven't really been focused on YouTube too much But I'm about to start uploading more videos about this new thing that I'm working on called brand breakdowns You may have heard of it from my previous videos because I have talked about it before But basically what it is is I'm doing deep dive case studies into very big brands e-commerce brands and basically trying to pull all the unique things that they do inside of their businesses uh, and basically make notes of all the different things that they're doing um, and then I turn it into this kind of newsletter report type of thing uh, that you can pretty much easily read and just get new ideas to implement into your business now the idea where I got this was because low-key I was already doing it every single week I would go and find a big brand and you know buy from them and look at all their emails and and you know look at all their marketing and, and basically look at everything that they were doing as a part of their company. Um, and then I would take like one or two things that I thought was great and I would implement it into my company. And I was actually able to scale my business quite a bit just by implementing these one or two little things every single week. So I decided to make these things public and turn them into a report. And today we're gonna be looking at how a group of frat boys started Chubby Shorts and ended up exiting the company for over a hundred million dollars, which is no easy task and no small number, by the way. You can see my screen now I have the brand breakdown pulled up we published this about two weeks ago um, so it is public on the website there will be a link in the description if you want to go read this for yourself and read the study and case study on your own then you can just click down there and go and get it and of course if you want to be subscribed to get future case studies just go and put your email in it's 100% free uh, no pressure there but I would highly 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 recommend getting on board we're putting out two per month right now but very shortly we will be putting out one every single week and it's just going to give you more ideas and more things that you can implement into your business we're not going to be going through the entire case study because as you can see it is very very long it's something like three thousand words or something like that basically breaking down all the unique things that they're doing there's also a cro case study in here so if you want to see all that stuff click the link in the description for now i'm just going to be going over the key takeaways basically the highlights of all the most important and most actionable stuff out of the case study and i'm going to be highlighting a few of them here with you on video just so that i can give you some value and in exchange i hope that you go and sign up for this so you can start getting them every single week there was a ton of things that Chubby's was doing. We have over 10 takeaways here, different things that you could do inside of your business and you can split test and you know, you might be able to increase your results dramatically by implementing some of these things. One of the thing which is not that big of a deal is Chubby's has an offering on their website where they'll say like, oh, if you buy two shorts, uh, you'll save $10 as opposed to just buying one. I thought this was cool. Um, and if you go to their actual website, it's, it's, it's best to actually see this in action. Um, so it's best to just go, you know, to some product here. Yeah, you can see on the actual page, um, it says buy two plus athletic styles, get $10 off discount applied in cart. So this is something that's automatically applied in your cart. Um, it's not like a quantity break or anything like that. It's kind of just like text on the screen and they highlight it red. I thought it was really, really cool. And it could be worth something testing. Um, if you're currently doing quantity breaks or if you don't have quantity breaks at all, this could be a way for you to get into it and start testing it. Um, another really cool thing that I saw Chubby's was doing that I think was worth mentioning and I am going to test it in one of my companies uh, very shortly is offering like a group discount. Um, basically, all this was was kind of just like a glorified discount code. Um, but I really, really like the way that they kind of frame it. And it basically says, you know, the discount code is chubbed together. And they're saying if you're buying a lot of products for, you know, a family trip or like a bachelor party or, a, or an event or something like that, you get a discount. 15% off if, if the order is above $500. Now, I'm not a genius, but I would say that if I had to guess, the amount of people that actually use this discount code for events and you know bachelor parties and stuff is probably pretty low. And the majority of it is people just buying products for themselves. And it might even be motivating people to spend more than $500 uh, just to get this extra 15% off. I mean, if you think about it, that's like 70 or $80 if you're buying $500 worth of stuff. So that's not... Uh, something that mo you know I've really seen any company do and I think it's very unique and it, and it also could motivate customers to you know buy together or increase your or average order value essentially this is something that I see with a lot of brands but Chubby's also has a find your shorts uh, survey on their homepage it's it's you know a shorts finder you basically say what you're doing you know are you at the beach 
are you around town and, and then you put in your email uh, and it basically just recommends some shorts now chubby's is known for having a massive email list and that's what that's basically why it caught my eye because the main goal of this survey appears to be just to collect people's emails like it doesn't really seem like it's something that is incredibly helpful but maybe if they're capturing a lot of traffic on their homepage and they're trying to capitalize that in a creative way this could be a good way to do that um, creating some sort of survey or finder to help people shop on your website could be a good way to build your email list Another thing that I thought Chubby's was doing that was really, really cool um, is on their product page, they actually offer free shipping with a countdown timer that basically says um, delivery by this date if you order within this time frame. Now, this is clearly taken straight off of Amazon, but I've done a lot of these brand breakdowns and a lot of these case studies, and I've never seen a brand directly implement this on their website. I'm sure that there's tons out there that do, but this could definitely be worth something that's uh, worth testing um, just because Amazon does it like if Amazon if Amazon does it it probably helps conversion rates to some extent um, and the fact that Chubby's is doing it definitely shows me that it's something that could be working very well now if you're having trouble getting UGC content Chubby's made a very unique way to kind of get around this they created a kind of product tester offer on their website if you go to their footer um, it's called wear testing and basically uh, you can apply to get a product sent to you um, and all you have to do is actually get the product go out and wear it and test it and then what they do is they have you leave a review um, and i would assume that they're also asking you for some sort of ugc or video review um, that way they can use it on ads or, or wherever right so this could be a very unique way that you could just straight up copy uh chubbies on uh, on a good way to not only get reviews but in testimonials which are already hard enough to get real ones at least uh, but you can also get ugc uh, which is great um, and all it would cost you is sending out their products. So it's kind of like having an inbound flow of you know potential UGC creators and reviews at all times, which I would assume that's why Chubby's is doing this is to get an inbound flow of UGC creators and reviews for their website. Another thing that Chubby's was doing that I thought was very different and very unique is they have a pop-up on their website, but it doesn't ask for email. Like 99.9% .9 of other brands out there, it's asking for phone number, which is very, very interesting uh, because we all know that SMS has better open rates, better click-through rates. Um, just overall, SMS just yields a better result when you're doing SMS marketing, and it's already hard to get people to opt in for that. So why not have it be on the front lines? Why not, when we do a pop-up on our website, it's like our main pop-up everybody sees it why are we doing email why are we not doing sms so i thought that this was very very interesting and definitely worth looking into um, if you're trying to build your sms list and if you want better open rates and better click-through rates on your uh, pop-up you know broadcasting whatever you do on the back end there Another really, really cool thing that Chubby's does that I think is worth looking into uh, how you could actually implement it on your site. I'm not 100% sure. It's probably custom coded, but they have this kind of ladder style, uh, you know, gift option where if you spend more money, you kind of unlock another gift and you unlock another gift. This is not very new, but what is new is the fact that they allow you to choose what you want your free gift to be. Most of the time, it's like a pre-selected, you know, little charm or keychain or or a T-shirt or something like that. But these guys actually let you choose which gift you want, and they unlock at different price ranges. So you can see, I'm just buying a shirt, and I can select that I want a two-pack can jacket. But if I spend $120, I can choose to get a hat instead. So I thought this was really, really cool. And it probably helps even more with getting a higher AOV um, and motivating people to spend more money because it kind of gamifies it. You can spend X amount of money and choose what you want your gift to be. Now, I'm not going to talk much about this on here. You can go click the link and read the article yourself if you want, but they did have a pre-selected SMS opt-in box in their checkout system. I don't know if they're doing it legally or if there's a loophole they're doing or what, but it is worth mentioning that they are doing that. And if you want to know more about it, click the link in the description because I did show it. Um, and you can probably go to their website and see it for yourself as well. Um, another thing that I noticed that was cool was um, Chubby's offers all shipping rates so you can go anywhere from like five to seven day just like standard free shipping um all the way to like overnight shipping and overnight shipping is like 25 or 30 dollars on their website which i think is very aggressive but it's probably how much it actually costs 
And it's really, really cool because they always push like this Friday at five lifestyle. Like they want people to think of their brand as like this party brand and this brand for having fun. Um, and the reason they offer that overnight shipping option, even though it's so expensive, is because it's like an emergency, right? Like they want the customers uh, to feel like if they need shorts tomorrow, they can always go to Chubby's and get that. Like after I purchase my Chubby shorts, now I know that like if I have a trip in a couple days, I can at least get my shorts in time for the trip. I think it's something little, but I think that offering all the best shipping options to your customers shows them that you're serious and if they're willing to pay, you're willing to deliver. Um, and I don't think many people will take an overnight shipping option for like $30 or whatever, but I do think it, it sends a good message that you at least offer it. Now, the final thing in the key takeaways for this article, like I said, if you want to see the whole thing, click the link in the description. You can read the entire thing or read the takeaways yourself is in the product experience. Now, what we actually do is we order the products so that we can get the post-purchase uh, sales process, we get the post-purchase emails, the post-purchase uh, customer experience, product experience, and we document it all here. Uh, one of the takeaways that I got from Chubby's was they give you a little thank you card that automatically gives you a 25% off of your next purchase. Now, this is pretty aggressive. We have seen more aggressive tactics with other companies, like I believe Ridge Wallet, uh, I think was our second brand breakdown that we did. Um, they gave a 40% off discount code off of your second order. So even more aggressive, but still 25% off discount off of your second order is very aggressive. What I would say is that they probably make more money off of this because it probably costs them more than 25% of revenue to acquire a new customer. So they're offering 25% off to get somebody to return. So I hope that you truly got some really good takeaways and some notes. And please, please, if you see something that you think could do well in your company, go split test it. Go split test it for like a few days or a week and see if it improves your results. I'm telling you guys, I've scaled my company almost 5x in the last 12 months. And all it's been is taking these key takeaways, implementing them, split testing, and just slowly improving my business week after week. So that's what you need to do. If you have something that you heard in this video or in this breakdown that you think could be good in your business, go implement it, go make more money. I can almost promise you that in every single brand breakdown we send out, there's gonna be at least one takeaway that you can go in A to B split test and probably one out of two, one out of three things that you actually test are going to improve your business in some way or another. This is not some tactic, this is not some strategy. This is a real method that you can actually go out and use to grow your business and see real growth in your business. So please implement the things that we talked about here today. If you like these videos, if you want to see more about them, let me know in the comment section. I'm glad to be back. Probably going to make a video for every single one of these that we put out. So like I said, right now, two a month, but eventually it'll be four a month, one every single week. Uh, but yeah, hope you guys like these. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.